Okay, so imagine you're a mother. Your goal is to produce as many surviving offspring as possible. Will you produce many small offspring um, that have low chances of survival, or will you produce a few large offspring that are each more likely to survive? Offspring size shows enormous variation throughout the animal kingdom, from the thousands of tiny offspring produced by a marine invertebrate to the single large offspring produced by a blue whale. Even within species and within a single mother, offspring size varies. How and why patterns in offspring size have evolved have challenged biologists for over a century. My PhD looks at one aspect of maternal investment using the currency that matters most, energy. How should a mother invest her finite energy reserves to her offspring in order to maximize the return on her reproductive investment? Well, offspring size has so far assumed to be proportional to the per offspring energy investment. However, it may be more complicated than that. We know that in adults, energy use does not scale exactly with body size. Rather, for every increase in mass, you get a less than proportional increase in energy use. But, so with increases in body size, you become more energy efficient. But what about offspring size? I measure how um, the size you are as an offspring will affect your energy use, which in turn affects your success later in life. Now to measure this in whales or in humans would take a while. And like most of you, I would like to finish my PhD within my lifetime. Marine invertebrates are the most common animals on Earth and they exhibit some of the most um, diverse reproductive strategies of any species. Luckily for me, these critters are also very easy to work with. I can measure um, energy use in individual offspring and I can manipulate the environment in which they grow up in, for example, by altering the temperature at which they develop. I can then determine for a given offspring size, how does your energy use affect your chances of survival, growth and reproduction? So it turns out that larger offspring are not only have high success later in life, but they are also more energy efficient than smaller offspring. And so this means that we've been underestimating the benefits of increases in offspring size for mothers. We also found that in cooler waters, offspring use a lot more energy than they do in warmer waters. So ultimately, this may help us to understand why mothers in cold waters, such as whales, produce fewer, bigger offspring, while in the tropics, corals produce many small offspring. By measuring the currency that matters to all living things, we can better understand what is driving the evolution of offspring size. Thank you.